Poetry on a sweltering September afternoon makes one contemplate wine. Therefore, we will have a triad of wine songs. We'll start with a wordless wine song. I dwell these days in a hell of such exquisite beauty, of such profound pleasures, of such a rich duration, that words to describe the sight, the sound, the essence, the tactile trembling, fail me utterly. I must be ambulant and ardently active in the midst of so decadent a nightmare, wallowing in such an opulence, bathed in honey and amber incense, drowning in a wordless wine, an ancient vintage of dancers upon grapes grown in glowing magnificent moonbeams. Play then the reed pipes, O deity of this delicious dark, and I will dance your afternoon of the fawn round promontories rising to such rousing occasion that I, moth to the flame of such persuasion, fall faded upon the sword of sheer ecstasy. Ooh, baby. Mm. Rufino Revisited. My thoughts go spinning in whirling disarray, like dust devils dancing in hell. From time to time, one reaches out to grasp the budding branch of a good idea, perhaps a song. Today, a wine song surely, one inspired by recall of the richness of Rufino. Rufino Bambino, the vino of meals, of laughter and singing and post-dinner deals. Dark purple majesty in glass emerald green, nested in basket weave from my shoulder to swing. Eighty-one was a good year, as was eighty-three. Today, any vintage would taste good to me. With a big bowl of linguine, Alfredo with crab, warm baked and buttered Italian bread slab, salato primavera, and a sweet culo to grab. Ah, que bella! <laughs> Vino di amore. Let there be development of a grape-type fruit that shall taste like a blend of mango, raspberry, and darkest ox-heart cherry, one the vine of which could flourish in urban arbors, one the wine of which would take exotic the distance, one the name of which should be vino di amore. When consumed, this fine wine give one cause to sing and rejoice in the exquisite beauty of nature of Gaia. Give one pause to embrace a genuine sense of love for your fellow man, woman, and love for the children. Give one a deep reverence for the animals, for the birds, for the creatures of the sea, and all the waters of the world. Give one a deep desire to embrace Gaia, the mother, and to dance around maypoles. What a wonderful wine that would be. Ah, yes, and on that note, I suggest that we should find that wine. We should stop those grapes and have that wine and offer it freely to many, for we all need such a wine as the Vino di Amore. Au revoir.